What? They deleted the Tyrone from Shoe Palace page off the Villains Wiki? What the hell's wrong with people, man? And the people who run Villains Wiki are just a couple of morons. Hey, what's your name? Servant. Hey, bro, um, I don't know why they deleted the wiki. Uh, Tyrone from Shoe Palace was my favorite villain. I know, all right, man. But, uh, Servant, what's your name? Uh, Meme. Meme, can you go make a call to Dr. Pepper, please? Tell them I want to join. Sir, I made the call and, uh, he is here. <laughs> Yep, yeah, thanks, wise guy. I meant the Dr. Pepper military. No. Yes, come in. Hello, I would like to apply for a job here we, at the Dr. Pepper military. Uh, we, we don't accept your kind here, sir. Well, one of those jackass Coca-Cola goons came to my house, so obviously I'm involved in your little charade, so how about you just accept me here? I'm the owner of a high-end weapons company. I make around 15 million dollars each year, so you don't even know how much my goddamn net worth is. So you accept me right now, buddy. Fine, dude, just wait here. Ah. Yeah. Who was that guy? He was, uh, he was just someone who wanted to play him for the military. Yeah, I saw his, uh, saw his clothing. He kind of looked like bra man. I mean, dude, it's probably just, it's probably just a, uh, style of clothing. Really? So, when you go outside, you see people with beanies and sunglasses? Not, nah, uh, yeah, no, I, I actually saw some at Colorado when I took a business trip there. Alright, alright. I uh, no, I'm just gonna go ask bra man if he knows this guy. Alrighty. Hey, bro, man, we saw a guy that wanted to apply for the military, and he had a beanie and sunglasses, only that it was a different color. Do you know him? Oh, yeah, he's a close friend of mine. His name's Freeze, and uh, he's a pretty noteworthy person to join the Dr. Pepper military. I tried to convince him to join it, and I guess he just listened. So, please consider him for the Dr. Pepper military. Oh, hey. Hi. So what's the deal about this guy who wanted to join the military? Alright, so Brian said that we should consider him for the military, and that he said that his name was Freeze. I don't know if that's just a nickname or it's something. It's probably a nickname, because who names a child Freeze? Alright, so just round up an interview with him, and he'll start his way out as an intern for a private. Got that? Got that. If it goes successfully, I should have. Hello, Freeze. Um, why should we hire you? Well... You know, some of those Coca-Cola goons, they broke into my house. They did not land a single hit on me. So the first goon, it tried to hit me, but I got like five hits in. I folded his dumb ass, sent him to my couch, and then, I don't know, I think he teleported because I didn't see him afterwards. And then the second Coca-Cola goon, he came. And then my buddy, bra man, he, he put him to a chokehold, and then that goon didn't even land a single hit on him. Uh, um, okay, cool. But that explains your story, which is good, but we need why. Uh, well, I'm a pretty formidable fighter. I'm really good without weapons, and I got ice powers, so I... Oh, okay, well, ice, powers, invasions. ice powers are really good, I must say. And I think okay. I'm pretty intelligent, too. Good. Okay, so what are your experiences with Dr. Pepper? I drink the soda. Real big fan of it. I mean, almost everybody does that, so I'm just gonna let it pass. Uh, what are your... Experiences with the with the Dr. Pepper military. I know bruh man. He's a secondary lieutenant of the Dr. Pepper military That's what he told me and he convinced me to join the Dr. Pepper military, so I, I, I mean, I mean if, you, if you know Dr. Pepper, if you're a friend of him, a uh, friend of, uh, friend of bruh man is always welcome here uh, You're hired. Thanks So we got information on that too who sent those cryptic letters uh, one's named Caden the other one's named Miles and they have a couple social media accounts, so we'll dissect into to those uh, further. And also that they might be working together. So we'll keep you updated. Oh yeah, I know who the Miles guy is. Don't know who the hell the kitten guy is. I have Miles on speed dial. Hold on, let me call him pretty uh, quickly. Usually he doesn't answer his phone. He has a dumbass voicemail too, but don't, don't worry. Uh... 
It's the Cadence Guy number. Hey, who sent me the screenshots? Ah! They aren't even insulting this Brock guy, they're just complimenting his camera. Alright. How, how do we even know that they're a part of Coca Cola? Employer! You know Caden? Um, y yeah. Well, then go get him! Fine! I, I bought him. Employer? You're Caden? And I have the evidence to prove it. Oh my god. No. You are the ones complimenting Brock's camera. Wait. So you must be working with Miles. Where is he? I don't know, man. He's, I, I think he's being a coward and not showing up. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well then. Well, thanks for hiring me, but... So I'm not officially hired? You're hired and not hired at the same time. Because I got the job. So I could sneak in here. So you're hired, but you're not hired at the same time. No, I, I'm, I'm done with this bull crap anyway. I'm the owner of the High End's Weapon Company. I, all my weapons are made out of ice. Ice! Shut up. Your friend already told me that. I thought I was going to play the Terry Silver, but I guess I'm just going to play the... Uh, freeze, we're going to play Freeze. Get out of here, Freeze! <sighs> so you're working for Coca-Cola the entire damn time? Well then, I know your little buddy, Caden, you two were ganging up on me, but that, that isn't going to last any longer. Miles. What? You, you followed me here? Well, obviously. Man, you should get the hell out. Get the hell out of here. But, but you can't tell me what to do. Why did you follow me here? Oh, uh, because I want to Don't you have a job at Coca-Cola? I don't really think they're going to appreciate it when you're just taking breaks at random. I'm not taking breaks. They set me on this mission. So what do you want to do? Fight, bro. Let's fight. All right, come on. Who's going to throw the first punch? Coca-Cola will! Ah! Okay. He's right. Coca-Cola will! What the hell? That's right. It's me. Coca-Cola CEO. So. You're not. Let's fight. Okay, come on. Oh, where's Punch Coward? Oh. Carbonation! Oh. Now, carbonate! Carbonation, burn! <laughs> you may try, but I can never be defeated. I am a multi-billion dollar company! You are not the CEO of Coca-Cola. I know what Jake Silverman looks like. You're just a doppelganger. And I know that. Oh yeah, well you're, well, you're a bro man doppelganger. Oh, you're just setting fiddle to Jake Silverman. What does it feel to be living like that, dude? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Come on. Man, that was crazy. Wait until Bob Pepper hears about this. <laughs> Man, he'll be so surprised. Hey, dumbass. I heard you were super proud of what happened back there. But listen, you need to get better control of Coca-Cola. You need to be more aware of their little antics because my life is constantly getting risked because of this little ordeal that's happening between you and the big bad Coca-Cola. It's stupid. Alright? You and Bob Goddamn Pepper, or whatever his stupid name is, need to teach their military better focusing more on defense. Because obviously, your security is so bad that it's making my security even worse. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Coca-Cola invading your house isn't our problem. It sounds like you should do better on your own security. Oh, what, the, what the hell, man? Okay, 
I'll tell you what. If you join Dr. Pepper, then we'll give you more security on your house, okay? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to join Dr. Pepper. I'll make sure you have more security and that we control Coca-Cola more, okay? Okay, okay. Listen, bro, man. I am not joining Dr. Pepper. Never, ever, ever in my life. I thought it'd be a good idea, but if my life is getting risked all the time and it's destroying my own security, then I'm just not joining. All right? All right. Well, that's unfortunate, considering that the vice president of your weapons company already made a deal with the Dr. Pepper military. Hey, Rico. Do you mind running the company for maybe five months? I have something I have to... Breeze, is it? I'm the CEO of Dr. Pepper, Bob Pepper, and I overlooked your application, and you're accepted. Uh, well, we didn't even need a look at your application, considering that your company made a deal with us, so you'll be our number one weapons dealer for the Dr. Pepper military.